Hi guys, it's Mrs. Santiago. Hola estudiantes. Today we're going to be taking the notes for the informal affirmative commands, otherwise known as positive commands. We're going to start by eliminating the table of contents, but we are in chapter six, page 32, informal affirmative commands. I'm going to eliminate the table of contents to make us some space, and I'm going to make the page big so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, so first of all, let's address the name of this because it's got a big fancy name. Informal simply means that it is not used with usted. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. Informal is somebody that you are familiar with. Affirmative is positive. Okay, and command, we're going to talk about what a command is as well. So commands are also known as, let me make that bigger, instructions or directions. This type of commands tells someone what to do. It does not tell them what not to do. Okay, when we get to that, that is going to be a negative command. When you tell somebody not to do something, you are being negative with them. Like, don't run. Don't talk to me. Those are negative commands. Um, do your homework. That's a positive command because it's telling you what to do. This form is used by someone you call by their first name. So this is the informal part. You're going to call them by their first name. In Spanish, this is someone that you would use the to form with. Who could this be? Well, if you brainstorm, who do you call by the to, the word to? Okay, it could be a friend. It could be a family member. In okay, case someone your same age. Okay, so someone that you're familiar with. That's why it's the informal. So this is the informal part right here. Informal. Somebody. So this is the informal. These are the notes on informal. Sorry, I'm trying to write and it's moving because my hand is on it. Okay, this is the informal part. This is the positive part. Okay, so a command, what is it? This is the command part. So it's an instruction or a direction that tells someone what to do. And it's someone, you're saying it's someone that you call by their first name. Okay, so again, it's an informal. That means it's used, it's a two positive command. Okay, so to form the informal affirmative commands for regular verbs or stem changing verbs, stem changing verbs. It's just one simple step. Just take the S off of the to form of the verb. So let's see how this works for an AR, ER, or IR verb. So hablar is a regular AR verb, so the to form would be hablas. Let's do all the two forms. Comer, ER verb, regular, comes. Now pedir, you have to do the stem change first. So pedir is an E to I stem change right there. So the to command would be pides. Okay, so to talk, to eat, to order. So the command form, all you're going to do is chop off this S. So what are you left with? The command would be habla. You're telling someone talk, habla, it's a command. 
Come, eat. Your mom might say that to you. And then, pay dear. P day. Ooh, big line. Hold on. Won't erase because I have Mr. Santiago's pen, but that's okay. We'll leave that line for right now. Okay, so P day. Like if I'm telling you, ask someone a favor. P day un favor. P day. Okay, just remembered. I can get rid of that line by clicking on it with my mouse. There we go. Okay, so let's look at these two examples. Now that we know the, the command form is the two forms subtracting the S. So let's look at the first one. If you're out to um, eat and you're having trouble picking your order, your mom might say to you, pide los huevos con tostada. Like she's just pleading with you to put in your order. So she's telling you to order what? So pide, she's giving you the command, order the, what are huevos, eggs with toast. She's telling you, do that. She's not asking. She's not suggesting. She's telling you what to do. It's a command. Okay. What about now you've, your sister's placed her order and she's fussing with the food. Your mom might say, come los panqueques. Okay. Come los panqueques, right? Command. Eat the pancakes. Don't play with them. Eat them. Come los panqueques. Okay, well, if you look at this carefully, it should look familiar. Think about AR verbs. O, as, a, amos, an. ER verbs. O, es, a, amos, n. So if you were to put them on a chart, right, think about those endings. Make a mini chart here, just real tiny. O, as, a, amos, an. Do you notice that this is the same as right here? Okay, so let's write that note because that's actually pretty darn important. Okay, so if you're having trouble figuring out the two form minus the S, isn't this really just the L, ella, usted form? Okay, that's what it looks like to me, the L, A, A, Usted form. That is true if it is a regular verb. But you should know, and I'm going to make this big again, of course, in Spanish, they can't all be easy. Here is a group of irregular commands um, for the positive informal commands. So all of the first column are what they call the yoga verbs. And really what you're doing is putting the verb in the yo form and subtracting the go. So tango, subtract the go, becomes ten. Van go minus the go becomes ven. Poner in the yo form is a yogo. Pongo, pongo minus the go becomes pon. Salir minus the go, salgo, becomes sal. Okay, so ten to have, venir to come, like when I want to tell my son to come here, bang aka. Okay, command form. Um, put the plate on the table. Pon el plato en la mesa. Sal. Okay, if you're upset with someone and you want them to leave the area you're in, you just tell them sal. Salir means to leave or to go. So those are the yo goes minus the go. Just remember, ten ben pon sal. Okay. So the next group of three are just plain irregular, and you're going to have to memorize them. So ear is be. Be al dentista. Go to the dentist. Ser is se. Be nice. Notice the accent. Ser amable. Hacer is as. As un sandwich. Make a sandwich. Okay, so be, se, as, then ten, ben, pon, sa. In Spanish, too, they'll have you learn a few more. One more that always comes up, I'll add it here, um, de sir. De sir is actually in the yo form, de go. So this is another chop off the go. This would become de. Okay, it doesn't really fit with the food verbs, though, so we're not really going to talk too much about that one. 
Okay, I hope that gives you your notes basis because now the only thing left is your homework. So let's read the homework instructions. This is really your first part of practice. It's called fruit salad. Complete the fruit salad recipe below by putting the command form of the verb in parentheses on the line. Once you do that, that's like, this is like step one right here. Step one. When you're finished, go to step two, which is to number the steps to make the logical order for fruit salad recipe. Watch for the irregulars. I put those in Rojo and the stem changers, which I put in Azul. Okay. So let's, I'll do the first one, ah, with you. So let's look at ah. You're going to take the verb in parentheses right here, and you're going to put it on the line in the command form. So remember, the command form, we have to do the stem change first, and this is a blue, so it is a stem change. I'm ch stem changing this to an I. It's an E to I. So this becomes the two form is sirves minus the S is sirve. So I'm simply going to write sirve. Why am I using a capital? Because it's the first word in a sentence. So you'll go down and complete. That gives you uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. You have seven more to do on your own. And then the final step would be this. Now I know serve the salad, right? Serve the, sa the fruit salad. That's probably at the end and there are eight steps. So I'm going to put that right away. I'm thinking that might be Ocho. So I'm going to put a maybe next to it. I'll put a little question mark, but I think it's going to be near the end. Ocho. Let me look at the other verbs quick. Mexclar, tener, poner, cortar, añadir, Probar, lavar, nope, no question mark. It is number eight. That will be your last step. So I've just helped you out. That is step number eight. So again, down at the bottom, it just says, now put the steps in order. Put a number in front of the letter on that line. And there's your visual fruit salad to remind you what you need to do. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. We'll be working a little bit more with um, commands for recipes until we move on to DOPs. Okay, gracias.